Ushirika with Alex Chamwada. Welcome to yet another informative episode of this series about cooperatives in Kenya. And today we are featuring Gusi Farmers Cooperative Union. It was registered in 1950. At that time, it had only five cooperative societies. Today, it brings together 28 cooperative societies. It supports about 130,000 coffee farmers. Mkiwa kwa group, kwa society muwe members kwa group. Ata mkitachi kitu, zaire mnatoa, sauti yeni nasikika. The union is engaged in milling and marketing coffee for the farmers who are spread in two counties, that is Nyamira and Kisi. The installation of this coffee mill for the coffee athletes in both Kisi and Nyamira have greatly benefited by the cost that has been cut from transportation of the, the whole coffee before it is cleaned by the mill. And this has enabled the farmers to earn at the current 80 Kenya shillings and previously they used to earn in less than 20 Kenya shillings per kilo of jerry. The 28 societies benefiting from the union have 72 affiliated factories for pulping. Hapa nyambundo tunafanya business, wakulima wanaleta kahawa kutoka kwa samba yao. Na hapa tumeweka ziku tatu kwa week, inakuwa Monday, Friday and Saturday. Wanaleta kahawa na sisi kama management tukuna workers na manager na, ma, na, na managers what wanaendelea kuprepare the, the coffee wanafanya pathering alavu sina, sinaenda kwa fermenting tank kawe kifika kwa ikisewa leo kesu yake ni natoriku wa mtoni the establishment of the Gusi Coffee Farmers Cooperative Union has led to an increase in coffee production from 3 million kilograms of cherry to 15 million kilograms per season. Ile mil tukonae tangu tuweke capacity yake ni 2.4 tons per hour. Previously tulianza na 1.2 tons. Alavu kulingana vile kawi may increase. Waka tulianza kumil wakulima waleona benefits ya, ya mil. Waka increase the coffee production. Tuka increase our capacity to 2.4 tons per hour. Per day tunaweza mil over, up to over 10 tons, up to 15 tons per day. The current total uh, asset base of the union is Kenya shillings 500 million. The union's vision is to be a leading organization in organic coffee and the marketing of farmers produce at a low cost. Wakati tuko na shida yeyote, union ina ingia na kujaribu kutusaidia hasa mamba ya uh, pesa kama sasa wakati tulikuwa tunataka kutoka analog kwenda digital union iliingia ikatusaidia sasa tuko na digital weighing machine alafu union ina toa mambo ya extension services na nakucha nasomesa wakulima nasomesa wafanyikazi ile tuwe na utunzi bora wa kahawa wewe muhimu kwa kumlema kuwa mwanajamo wa Kisonso anapata pesa na kwa mkulima anapata pesa analeta masao yake hapa kwa nini kwa society anapata pesa wakati mwingine akivu na sida anaweza aenda kwa nini kwa roni apate pesa ya kumsaidia hasa nini endelee hiyo nini kwa kuzinga kusaji wa kahawa coffee growing among the gusi community in south nyanza dates back to 1936 when the first blue mountain trees were imported from Jamaica and planted in Basi, Nyaribari, and Kitutu. Blue Mountain was successful in Kisi because it had natural resistance against coffee berry disease. The sector became a key source of livelihood in the region. <laughs> Gusi Coffee Cooperative Union is among the 10 coffee unions in Kenya working with over 500 cooperative societies. 
these unions are now open to engage directly with buyers across the globe, thereby assuring traceability of the coffee from the farm to the consumer. Cooperative Bank of Kenya plays a key role in the sector with financial empowerment of farmers through cooperatives being among the benefits extended to Gusi Coffee Farmers Cooperative Union. All the 28 societies affiliated to the union bank with Cooperative Bank. The Cooperative Bank has greatly benefited the union by approving 200 million so that the societies can be able to access the advances for their crop. They have as well given out about 30 million for the 28 coffee cooperative societies so that they can be able to improve on their machineries and uh, other areas that perhaps can benefit these societies. The bank also supports farmers' payments in collaboration with Wakenya Pamoja Sako that has branches across Gusi land. We made the payments easier but whereby we are able to provide the mobile platform and also collaborating with the, uh, the Sako that has branches across the Gusi region so that farmers are able to uh, be paid on time. Kupari tu bangi, tuko no siano mzuri. Wakazi, sisi tu bichaguliwa tu kapata nyambunde. Famas kupari tu kuzoe ati na endelea na kupanga. Na kupanga saidi ya guansi ya saide 56 paka sai. Kosi nao, wakati tu nakuwa na sida ya mborea. De kupanga tu naenda tu na itisa, bana tu na pata pesa, bakuimba bana pata mborea kupeka wasani. We've been able to uh, offer uh, training to the board, board members, and even develop policies to enable them uh, to do the milling. Cooperative Bank continues to support Gusi Cooperative Union and its affiliate societies to enable them um, produce the coffee, that is farm the coffee in the farms. We give them facilities to enable the farmers access input loans, including manure, to make sure that we continue to enable the farmer produce a bumper harvest. 70% of coffee in Kenya is produced by about 700,000 small-scale farmers. A majority of them grow the coffee on less than two acres of land with an average production of five kilograms of cherry per tree against a potential of 20 kilograms per tree. The support from Cooperative Bank and other partners is expected to contribute to growth in productivity. The bank also supports the farmers with processing facilities. Um, it's very important when farmers deliver their coffee to their primary cooperative that the coffee doesn't lose value uh, at the cooperative level after all the hard work that the farmer has, has put in to, to have that good cherry. Nikivuna vizuri,